things today in store for you folks today. Temperatures slow to warm up, however. We're at the 58 degrees out at EIA right now. Those winds out in the southeast, 14 miles per hour. Welcome back to the channel, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea how, how I have this much energy, guys, because I've been up since, what, 3 o'clock in the morning. Eli got here at 4.30 a.m., and we've been on the road ever since. It is now 10.52, and we have eight more hours to get to our destination. Now, if you've not already seen the title, today's video is about exploring Colorado for what it's really for, guys. Now, I've been to Boulder. I've been to Denver. I've been to Fort Collins, but I've never been to Vail. This is new to me, guys. I don't know if we're going to be fly fishing. I don't know if we're going to be using ultralight tackle, but we are going to put a line in the water, guys. So just stay tuned with us. We have eight more hours to drive. Eli, thanks for being a trooper, guys. Y'all are in for a real treat. Let's get there um, in one piece, and then we'll talk about more on the stops, guys. Let's, I'll just keep you guys updated because there's, there's so much to talk about. There's so much to see, and we're just so excited, guys. Like, it's, it's seriously keeping us going. Like, I mean, it's a 13-hour drive. And we're still excited, so let's see how we last on this trip and let's get there safe, guys. Why you mad? Get to the bag. Long face, duck a case, get the cash. I've been living fast, still far from average. Real talk, all this shit is right outside what I get magic. Young, black, and raspy. Catch me with a labby, young. Whoo, boys, what the heck are those things right there? Why are y'all so big, bro? They don't got those in Texas, man. What an absolute blessing to be out here. We made it to Colorado. No issues with the car. No issues with us. I had a little upset stomach, but that's part of the game, guys. I'm just blessed to be out here. Let's get a little focused, guys. What's going on? Get focused. Get focused. We got these big, these big old birds up here, guys. So we're going to make a little quick uh, update for you guys. It's been a great drive. Just that wind is unbelievable, but it's died down, guys. And, you know, it's just a blessing to be out here in Colorado. And I'm so thankful we made the trip without any issues. But, guys, wait until you see where we're actually going. Fat Tire, Tyler, you're absolutely amazing. Thank you for inviting us out. This drive has been gorgeous, even though it's been extremely windy. We're almost there. Hello, Colorado. What's up, big birds? Let's have some fun, baby. We're almost there. The last stretch. Like I said, knock on glass, save my ass. Hopefully, nothing crazy happens happens guys but we're here baby golly gorgeous bro oh my gosh man i told you it's gonna get better and better the closer we get to Vail, man we're rolling through denver right now the sun's going down you know we got out here at 4 a.m we didn't get out here at 4 a.m we got into the car at 4 a.m. and it's 7 p.m. If that doesn't show you our dedication, we made a couple stops. Um, we only switched off a couple times to uh, get a little bit of rest here and there, and we're almost there, guys. We pushed it all the way through, and I'm excited to get to the Fat Tire House and have a nice beer, guys. Love y'all so much. This place is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm excited to see what Vail really looks like. I've been to Denver, I've been to Fort Collins, I've been to Boulder, but I've never been to Vail, guys. We're almost there. The excitement is building up. And again, those last couple hours are so long, bro. They're so long, but we're almost there, man. 81 miles, it's a straight shot. We got one more turn and we're there. Love y'all, let's do it. <laughs> This is our fourth bite, bro. We just stopped on the side of the road, show the car. We're literally on the side of the road, and I've already had two or three bites, bro. Like, I'm shaking right now. I'm so hyped. Our first spot that we stopped at, 
They're hitting it. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong, bro? What do you think those are? I mean, whatever it is, they have to be able to eat this little hook. I don't care if it's like the smallest fish in the world. I don't know if you can get that, Eli, but look, it got tore up, right? It's the smallest hook, guys. Let's come on. We got to catch a fish right here. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. I know, I know, he's a slithery. Golly, my hands are wet, guys. Making sure we're taking care of these trout. I'm gonna let them go. Get out of here, little guy. Go be slithery. <laughs> Tank! No, I'm joking. <laughs> this is so awesome, bro. Oh my gosh. We finally made it and bro You can't see our breaths yet, but I feel like it's gonna get there tonight It's gonna be a low of 35 degrees. We caught a fish man. We caught what was that a brook trout or not a brook trout golden trout a maybe. golden trout I don't I don't know what it is guys look at the picture and tell me this fish was absolutely gorgeous We had so many bites out there and it was just amazing guys So we're here at the fire tire house, but we can't get in guys. We have an old code We have a new code none of them are working and hopefully we can get inside guys But that just adds to the adventure honestly. I'm not complaining because it's been 15 hours We're here before the Sun goes down and it's absolutely gorgeous guys So we're gonna try to get this code figured out uh, get showered up, get freshened up, eat some food, and then enjoy some fat tire, guys. We don't need to enjoy that beer without an empty stomach, so we're gonna see what grub they have out here. Enjoy um, Bale for what it really is and give you guys a nice house tour. Just end the night on that note. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you guys I hope you guys like this kind of video style because it's just it's something new and we, we truly enjoy this, you know? It makes us happy, so hopefully it makes you happy. And let me know down in the comments what you think. Love y'all, and let's get a house tour going once we get this house open. Hold on. It's Tyler calling me right now. Hello? Woo! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, guys. This is day two of our Colorado Vale Excursion, guys. Now, this place is unbelievable. You've already seen some really amazing shots, guys. We drove straight through 13 hours, got here about 7 p.m., left at 4 o'clock in the morning, got here at 7 p.m. Um, the temperatures are about 35 out here. It's a little bit chilly. That's why you see me double layered up. But I think later on in the afternoon, it's gonna get to a high of 75. So we're just gonna enjoy this beautiful view, guys. We're gonna go out and try to catch some trout. Uh, that is going to be the main species out here so we're going to try to catch some rainbow trout brook trout and any other trout that i want to cross off my bucket list guys um we had a little issue with the guys that we're supposed to meet up with and they actually ended up bailing on us it is part of the game those guys are busy they have other things going on and i'm just excited to be out here guys the fat tire house is unbelievable guys we're gonna give you a tour of that a little bit later but we're gonna be exploring some of um vale's what is it, fly shops? And maybe even get a fly rod and come out here and try to fly fish. But for now, we just got this little um, St. Croix panfish rod. This is an ultralight setup. Eli had this for me. I don't have any ultralight setup, so maybe I'll leave Vale with a fly fishing rod, guys. So we did catch one little trout yesterday, and we're gonna see what we can catch today. I mean, we're just gonna be exploring. Like I said, plans have changed, and that's okay with us. We adapt really easy, and we're just gonna have fun, guys. This is the first stop. It's like two minutes from the house, and we're just gonna see if there's any fish in here. So love y'all, and just come with us today, guys. It's gonna be a journey, man. We're gonna be exploring a lot of different things. Let's do it. All right, guys, first cast, man. I already saw some little trout running around here, and uh, it's so cool to just see fish already as soon as we get here. Like, you can't make it up, man. I should probably turn my GoPro on. <laughs> I don't even have shades on. That's how clear this water is. And we're going to be using fish brain a lot today and just see if anybody was willing to share their spots. And if not, we're going to document those spots on fish brain. Oh, my God. I had one. Ah, oh, I had one, man. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm excited to kind of get the fly out and try to fish that. Now, the only thing with the fly rod is I feel like these fish are pretty small. So I'll have to have like little wind, right? Like, is that how it goes with fly fishing? Do you, you want to go like on the days where it's not extremely windy? Exactly. Yeah. So hopefully today, I mean, I know we're getting a storm tomorrow and on the way here, the wind was unbelievable. So I think just the morning is going to be our best bet, but 
We're not scared of a little challenge, bro. That's what makes these trips worth it. All right, boys, we're gonna switch up the bait real quick because I'm um, feeling like that's not it. Eli bought these, uh, what is it, Panfish Magnet Kit? Oh, dude, that's stellar, man. I love this, man. This, this is how I used to fish back in the day, bro. That's crazy. I go and get those uh, gulp, you know, oh, yeah. ones from Walmart and just fish just like this, having no idea what I was doing. I'm gonna try a little pink. There's just action all around here. All right, I'm gonna cast over here so I don't spook anything. Oh, he had it. I was wondering what was happening. He had it, bro. All right, I gotta tighten up, man. I gotta tighten up. Oh, don't tell me I got a dig old snag. Bro, Eli, that was actually a nice one too. I'm gonna get right back in there. I mean, he got that on the, on the splash. Look. Why am I setting the hook like a dang old bass tournament angler, bro? <laughs> All right, guys, so we saw some big ones. I had a bunch of bites, but this is, I'm feeling like this is not it. Now I'm gonna go ask a local, would this be, you know, the best um, strategy for catching trout? Maybe we're getting something wrong, but Eli says he smashed them on them. And I trust him, bro. I, I really do trust him. So, I mean, we've had plenty of bites. We did catch one on them. We probably had a total of 20 bites today. And I mean, I don't, I don't know what to do. So we're gonna go up there, maybe get a fly rod. Just ask somebody at a tackle shop what we should throw, guys. We're gonna put this spot on fish brain for you guys. Um, maybe log if we do catch anything. But as, as of now, we haven't really caught anything. So we're gonna grab some grub, go talk to the locals at the tackle shop. That's like one of the best ways I've found when you're traveling around uh, to get knowledge on uh, honey holes and what to throw. I've found that um, that's a good way to do it. So that's what we're gonna do. Grab some grub and see what these guys have to say. Alright boys and girls, we are at our first destination now. Actually, this is our second destination. Our first one was to catch some food. Now our second one is this Bell Valley Anglers. Now this was a recommendation by Tyler Reedy. You're an awesome guy, man, and I always trust your recommendations. Uh, he's the reason why we're even here right now. Big shout out to you, big shout out to Fat Tire, big shout out to Under Armour, big shout out to Eli, big shout out to everybody who's watching right now because without you guys, this would not be possible. So with that being said, we are gonna be Trying to see if we can find some fly fishing gear. I definitely need some shades and I'm gonna maybe buy a fly fishing rod. Now I was told you can rent them here. I'll probably rent it first and then see if fly fishing is something I even wanna do or if it's even something I wanna invest my time in. So you have to figure it out. You gotta try new things and that's the only way that you can advance in fishing, right? Like I wanna be an all around angler. I don't like just uh, fresh water. I love salt water as well, but to get, in, to get into these rivers and things like that and get to these trout, man, like Eli got me so hyped up on that big trout and I just wanna catch a decent one, guys. So these little trout magnets aren't gonna do it, man. Like I don't know if what we're doing wrong but Eli said he smashes them on them but we're just gonna see what these local guys say and maybe they can give us some advice on things to throw so let's see what this shop is about and uh, see if we can catch some more fish guys This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, I've watched a lot of other people do it, like Brandon, that bass fishing dude, he's going out and fly fish. Uh, Weston Smith, he's going out and fly fish. And I'm like, man, I, I want to join the crew. So I'm going to get out there and see what it's about. Also, Temple Fork uh, Outfitters is in Dallas. I've worked with them for their tactical bass or their tactical elite rods. And I'd love to actually get out and try one of their fly fishing rods. They've been known to be very legendary in the fly fishing world and I'm just glad to even have a foot in it you know so let's go get our feet wet let's get those lines wet and see if we can catch some fish bro didn't I tell you to talk to your local tackle shop man Emily gave us every single piece of information that we needed to capitalize on the bite today if we don't do this it's on us bro she literally told us every single thing we needed to know from how to cast the line how to set up our tackle to exactly where to fish guys so let's just go copy and see if it works man i mean that's the best thing that we could do but this is just a tip for you guys you have to talk to your local tackle shops guys that that's just the best thing that you can do so we looked at the ratings eli um or this was actually suggested by tyler 
uh, to come to this spot. Uh, she actually gave us this reel. They didn't give it to us, but she allowed us to use this reel for free. So I'm very blessed, very excited to go out there and tear it up. And hopefully I don't mess anything up, guys, because uh, it's bound to happen. So let's go do this. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is beautiful, man. Oh, that's what she's saying. Yeah, you just take it out, put it right back in. Oh my gosh. Two good casts in a row. Oh! Bro! That was... <gasps> that was big. Did it break you off? It was... Did you see him? No. I'm not hyping anything up right now. That was a big rainbow. I, he was hooked. I had him. He snapped me off. He literally took the fly off. What? That's me, bro. What's up? Hey. Bro, look, 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 look. I'm not making this up, bro. I don't know if the GoPro got that. He snapped me off. That's a I, He jumped off. That would have been my biggest trout ever, bro. How big you say it was? This big, bro. I'm honestly not lying that That's big. Crazy. I can't believe you didn't see him. He jumped off right there. Bro, what? That awesome just happened right. so fast. You got another fly with you? I got another fly, bro. Let's keep going, dude. That I was feeling like, you know, <laughs> I was getting that feeling, bro. I was like, man, you know, maybe you should switch up the content, but you can't give up, bro. You can't, you just can't. You can't listen to that little thing in your mind telling you to stop, bro. Literally my second cast, I'm like, you heard me. Boom, I got a good cast, I got a good cast. Freaking trout came and hit it, bro. On the fly. Oh my gosh, that is, that was a good one. Like that wasn't a small one at all, bro. Oh my gosh, dude. I mean, it's just a nice little place to put your stuff. You have a closet right here, nest thermostats throughout the entire house. One thing I did notice that there was no uh, AC in this bed, but you know, from Texas, I come out here to try to dial it down, but they have no other options, bro. It's just straight up heat. So I'm assuming that's just how the um, temperature is out here. It's just probably always cold that you need to have that heat. Really wide stairs. Um, this freaking elevation, bro. Climbing up these stairs, every time I get up here, I get gas, man. But we got acclimated pretty quick, right? I mean, it didn't take that long to get acclimated out here, but boy, I will tell you that, that elevation will mess with you. So you'll need about 24 hours to adjust. As soon as you get in here, I was just amazed with the wide open kitchen. <laughs> what? I was amazed with the nice open living room. I was a realtor at one point, guys, and that's why I'm fishing now, because that, look at that, that was horrible, bro. I was like, hey man, just buy the house. Look at this, this is cool. But um, they have a bar over here. We got the big TV right here. When you pan to your left, there's gonna be that nice, big old fat tire sign letting you know who the big dogs are. Big open windows. Everybody wants windows like this, man. Just unreal. As soon as you wake up in the morning, you can see the birds chirping, doing their thing. You can see the mountains from here. I don't know if Eli can get that, but you can, you can see that white. That's snow, bro, at the top of those mountains. So we're already elevated, but it is really cool to see how higher you can go, guys. It's just, it's unbelievable. So let's keep it going. Look at this kitchen, bro. Like, they did not skimp on anything. Cabinets, drawers, all of this is big dog stuff. Every room has a shower and a bathroom, so I love that. Here's my room. I tried to keep it nice and neat. Two nice beds, new Belgian pillows. I didn't even see that, man. Y'all gotta give me some of these. That is sick, wow. And then if you saw that big fat tire sign earlier that we showed in the living room, this is where we're hanging over. So there's the living room. Now, the fat tire garage runs. As soon as you come in here, they don't skimp on the beer, guys. Like it goes back all the way back here. We got snowboards. I've never been skiing before. And of course, we're in here during the summer. So there's no way that we get to ski or do anything like that. But it is cool that they have the entire setup here. And look how much beer is here, guys. Now we put a big dent in it because we gave Emily 
over there at the uh, fly shop a bunch of beer because she helped us out. But I mean, there's still so much beer. It's like you could take so many cases and it still wouldn't put a dent in it. So guys, that is the tour of the house. We use this Traeger as well. I uh, love that bad boy. We're gonna throw that Nomad on there later. Uh, that is the tour of the house though, guys. I mean, absolutely amazing place. Really cool that I could just bring my car right up to the front door and go inside and enjoy myself. So it's been a pleasure to be out here. Thank you guys so much for watching that little tour. Let's get back to the fishing. And let's get back to exploring Colorado. Love y'all so much. Thank you, Fat Tire. Thank you, Tyler. You're a beast. Let's enjoy ourselves tonight. Get some rest and then hit it again hard tomorrow.